is our evening with the poppies. So we have, if you don't already know, which you're here, so I'm sure you know, Trent and Tanya, um, Maddie's parents are here to answer a few questions for us about um, Maddie and their family's whole experience with American Idol. Hey, Tana, can you talk about in Hollywood how the, on TV it may look different than it actually is? You know, what was the studio? Was it big? Was it small? Yeah, it does look a lot bigger on TV than it actually was where they filmed a lot of the, um, you know, when you guys would see where you were, where you were voting. Um, the, they didn't allow, like, a lot of people would want to get in, but they could, they only had so many tickets to give. So we were limited to how many, like, family members could even come. Um, even when she got to the finale, we could only bring, like, what was it, 10 people or... It was really a low number, and so um, you had to be really selective about, you know, we wanted to have everybody in our family have a chance to come, but um, they had limited seating. And so, um, you know, I think with the, the film crew and the, all the cameras, they can make things look, appear a lot bigger than they are. But um, what it looked like was, you know, there was the stage, and then there was a lot of standing room at the bottom, like like in front of the stage, and then there were seats all the way around the perimeter. So, um, I don't know, how many people do you think would have... Our, our gym is bigger than the, the studio and has more seating. I, I've been... Yeah, I, our, our high school gym is probably bigger than the studio, and um, there was, there's probably about half the seating that there is in, in our gym. So whatever our gym holds, it, it would probably be about half of that. Yeah, it's not as uh, it's not as big. You know, when you're sitting there, you're you know you're right up on them. You can you can really see them see them well. So yep. So when they pulled you up on stage and asked you to sing with her, was it like totally nerve? Because you were like, oh my goodness, I'm on yeah, TV. Or was you know it? that wasn't rehearsed at all. And, and, uh, but you know, I'm standing there and he pointed at me, and I thought, here we go. What are you, what are you gonna do? You know. And so yeah, so I got up there and. And uh, yeah, just just did my thing, did <laughs> they, <laughs> and what I could. But, they didn't uh, warn you that you were going to be no, called up. No, no, I had no. You know, it was kind of it was kind of weird because they had an X on the floor, and um, that's where they had the lighting right, and um, the camera was set for that. And when your kid was going to be up, they'd say, you know, they'd take a break. They'd say, okay, you know, Maddie's parents um, to the front, and then you'd go up and you'd stand on this X because they already had the camera all ready to go there and so yeah and then when your kid was done they'd shuffle you to the back and, and they had that that certain spot where they wanted you to stand for all that kind of stuff yep how many places did you have to go for the american idol well we went to omaha then we went to chicago and then we went to new york city and then we went to los angeles in a couple different places in los angeles there were, um, I think, three or four different venues or theaters that they had us go to. Um, and, uh, the, you know, the one thing I remember is standing in line because, um, not that they weren't good to the parents, but the, the parents and the family, that was their last concern. It was all about the, the um, it was all about the contestants, which is fine. But, you know, we'd be standing in these alleys, and I'm not kidding you, for four hours waiting for them to call us because, you know, Maddie was going to go on because they didn't want all these people in the theater making noise and everything while they're trying to shoot a, shoot a show. Um, but, yeah, it, um, you asked about Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood, it's dirty. <laughs> I mean, you know, at, after 10 o'clock, you know, even Hollywood where the, all the stars are, you know, there's people rolled up sleeping on the, you know, sleeping in the doorways and, and, and stuff like that. And we happened to be downtown waiting in an alley. And uh, yeah, there were there was uh, there were there were bums sleeping there, and it and it stunk, and and uh, yeah, so it wasn't there. That part of it wasn't glamorous at all. There's some really really nice parts, but yeah, they, those 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 parts weren't. But overall, it was it was nice. Yeah. You went to Nashville too, right? Didn't, or just the contestants? Oh yeah, just uh, just the contestants went to Nashville. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Um, you know, only thing that I've heard, they said they were going to let her know the total votes, um, but 
I don't know that they've ever told her that, but I did hear that she consistently had the most votes throughout the whole process. So that was really a cool thing to hear that, um, you know, she never heard that, none of us heard that until after the whole um, thing was over, but one of the producers said, you consistently had the majority, or, you know, the most out of all the contestants, which was, you know, obviously people liked her throughout the whole thing, so that was great. What would you say is the biggest lesson she learned from the voice uh, episode? I think, and she would probably tell you this too, the biggest, because the when she um, when she did not get a chair to turn on The Voice, she went through a period of time where she was really down and really depressed and kind of questioning her future, like, am I really meant to do this? Um, but I think the biggest thing she learned from that is just she tried to be someone she wasn't when she went on The Voice, I think. And so she came into the idol um, show just wanting to be herself and portray herself and she's continued to stay true to that so we're really proud of her for that to just maintain who she is and not you know I think a lot of celebrities kind of get caught in the yeah. the limelights and all you know all that and and she has really tried to stay true to who she is and with her values and and her humbleness so I would say that's mm -hmm. the, the most remarkable thing mm -hmm. I uh, remember watching her perform is how well she did that mm -hmm. yeah I yeah she's, she's made, made, us made us very proud throughout the whole yeah. the whole thing so very yeah good. thank you I have a question um, when she had her outfits was that something she planned before she went or was that just spur of the moment um, the outfit when you guys were watching her on the show she had a stylist so a stylist would meet with her, but they would talk to her about what she wanted to wear. Um, she would also uh, look at what she was singing to look at what kind of outfit she'd want to wear. Um, but it was really not something she, in the, in the beginning when she was still in Hollywood Week, those were her clothes that she'd wear. But once she started those live shows, those were, um, the stylist would meet with each contestant and they would come up with a plan of what she would wear. Um, purchase those herself? No, or they, you, the, they the show her did purchase those. Sometimes they rent those as well. So sometimes she'd have to give them back. Sometimes she has some things that she was able to keep. Um, so it just kind of depended. But um, but yeah, that was stuff that the, the show purchased. Yep. So they were in hotels all that time? They were. Is she in a hotel now or is she ever in her apartment? No, she still, our house is kind of her home base okay, so still. She yep. She goes, um, you know, she just got done um, doing her whole album. Her album will come out in May. I think the plan is for her to sing one of her singles on like the finale of this season's show. And then she'll drop that first, that her album will be available. And so that's kind of how they're going to promote it, I believe. Um, but she, uh, she had like, she just returned, I don't, when was it that she was out there for like 42, 42 nights they had her in a hotel while she was like recording all those songs. So she was, you know, it sounds like, oh, that, that doesn't sound bad, but you know, she's by herself the whole time and she's kind of being shuffled and Ubered to this place to go record this song or try to have this songwriting, you know, thing with a stranger that she's never met and then she'd go record this. I mean, it was just like every day something different and so... Um, I think, you know, that taught her a lot about how the whole business works, but um, I think it got kind of lonely when she was in the hotels for so long, um, and she still does that. I mean, she comes home for a while, and then she goes to Nashville, or she goes to New York City, or L.A., and so they kind of have her shuffling all over. She hasn't really determined where she wants to be. Like, eventually, I think she'll settle down and be somewhere, but I don't think she's ready for that yet, so she's kind of waiting to see. Thank you so much for coming and supporting me. You guys have been so great to me um, throughout this whole journey, and you still are. It's so great because, you know, when you're on the show, it's like all, um, you know, lights and camera, and like, um, you know, it's like a big, it's a big deal at the time, but when you're off, you worry that, you know, have people forgotten about me, or is anyone, you know, is anyone going to care now that I'm not on TV? But